and I find if I sit in the back and walk up slowly, the applause is longer. <laughs> so I get a chance to really evaluate autonomously two different speeches. And Karen and Glenn were both speaking from one of the advanced manuals that we get to explore after we do our first ten speeches and get through the competent communicator manual. And this is called Special Occasion Speeches. And you've heard several of these lately from a number of us who are working in the same manual. One of these is to present an award, which Karen did, and one is to accept an award, which Glenn did. They did a very nice tandem presentation and acceptance. We've learned that watching them over the years, they do things very well like make babies and <laughs> <laughs> pick up each other's problems and solve them for each other. They're quite a team. In presenting an award, the objective is to present an award with grace and dignity and acknowledge the contributions of the recipient. Karen, I thought you had a very direct beginning. You didn't say, I would like to present an award. So you get an A plus already for that. And you gave a very good description of what Glenn, the recipient, did. List, list the specifics of his accomplishments. What I'd like to have seen, since you're an experienced Toastmaster now, maybe a little rusty because you haven't been here as much, was to come away from the lectern, away from your notes. You really were tied to, to your notes. And although it was beautifully organized and beautifully laid out, it didn't have the gusto that it might have had. From a contextual point of view, I'd like to have seen you emphasize what would happen to our educational system if we didn't have volunteers like Glenn to really up the wattage with the importance of the work that you did. It wasn't just a nice, wonderful thing he did, all of which is true, but at this time of budget cuts, our schools are going down the drain without people doing what Glenn had done. That would have made it a much more powerful speech, I think. You have a very pleasing voice, you're very sincere, and you gave an excellent presentation of the plaque at the end that was very nicely done. Glenn was to accept an award with dignity, grace, and sincerity, and to acknowledge the presenting organization, which you did. I love the way you started with humor. You had us laughing and with you when you did this Academy Awards no-no thing of having all the people you were going to thank, and then you said you weren't going to do that. Charming. Excellent gratitude to Lucy and to Joy and some of the other teachers. You made it very clear that you were part of a team, that you recognized the importance of the teachers. Excellent eye contact. And you did very well without notes. You could have come out in front of the lectern. And as my favorite evaluator says to me, Michelle and Nisha, you could have been bigger <laughs> than you were describing. Because as good as you were, you too could have set the context for the importance of this kind of work. Low budget, stress on students, lots of anxiety about how we're all doing financially. And if you'd done that, I think when you come to your conclusion about how we all need to work together, not just in our school at La Mesa, but across school boundaries to get La Mesa to work with other schools, it would have been even a more powerful effect. And I would like to have had you use your excellent humor more throughout. You have a great sense of humor, and it began to get a little low energy and a little low excitement as your speech went on. Which might have been helped also if you paused a little more. What I liked particularly was how real your speech was. It came from your heart as well as your mind. It was very clear that all of this matters to you greatly. Congratulations.